Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going back to the code signal SQL coding exercises. Uh, if you're jumping into this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can start with the first video if you so wish. Otherwise I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade, uh, databases, and then we left off. We we're just starting this new section here, specialities and we're doing interest club number 28. Uh, so for, for this one there's just some missing code here and here that we have to fill in. I'll just reset it. Okay, so you're a chairman of your university's drawing club which isn't doing very well right now. The club meets two times a week to exchange drawing advice, talk about new techniques, and draw something uh, together. But the members are starting to get bored during these meetings, so you've decided to add an additional activity to the routine. In order to do this, you decided to collect information about the students, which is now stored in the table People Interests, which has the following columns. So you've got a name, interests, which is a set, special uh, data type, which is a set, and the set can be uh, defined as any one of these things in the list. Uh, this information gave you the idea that reading may be an interesting theme for the next meeting, so you announced that the next meeting will be reading related. Now you're interested in the number of members that will come. Given the people interest table, find the people who will attend the next meeting, uh, those who are fond of both drawing and reading. The result table should consist of a single name uh, column and the record should be sorted by people's names. Okay, so here we go. So this is what the interest table looks like. It's their interest separated by a comma and the names of the person. And they want you to have the intersection of, so they're looking at, this is the drawing club and they're also thinking about adding reading. So they want both reading and drawing. Uh, so Buddy would be included and also James would be included because he's got reading and drawing there. All right, so how do we do that? This one's actually a little tricky. Uh, I haven't used sets before, so I had to kind of look up how those work. And also, you can see they're using this AND uh, ampersand, uh, which is a bitwise operator, bitwise AND. So first, let's go through how the AND works. So I put something up here in Excel. So basically, it looks at the binary representation of numbers and then uh, looks at where they have commonalities. So here's the binary representation of 37. So how you get that is, so one, uh, this is a, and then you'll see the next column would be two, this would be worth four, so this is five right now, and then you add 32, gives you 37. So usually you're working with base 10 numbers, uh, binary is a base 2 system, uh, so this is how it works. So for 23, so you got 1 and then plus 2 uh, for the next value, plus 4, which gets you to 7. Uh, did I not do that right? 7 and then there should be a 1 here. That, that's correct, okay. And then when you do the bitwise uh, and, what you would get is you would get 0 here because uh, 23 doesn't have a 1 here. You get 0 here because 37 doesn't have a 1. Here they're both 0, so it's 0. Here you get a 1 because both uh, the values are 1. Again, here both of them have to be 1, so this is a 0. And then since both of these are 1, then you get a 1 here. Uh, it would return this bitwise operator, which is actually equal to 5, because you get 4 plus 1, gets you 5. So this would equal 5. So how does that pertain to this set? So how a set is stored, so if we do... Uh, so there's a lot of ones here. I'm not going to go through all of them, so I'm just going to go up to drawing. So if we did a kind of example, 
to show you how that's stored here. Uh, sports, swimming, and then drawing. So if we were to store this set here, let's say we're storing, uh, let's just go back here. All right, let's just make something up. So let's say their interests were drawing and swimming. Okay. So just like in this binary representation, these are going to be the same values because it goes from order uh, from right to left. So it doesn't have reading, so it's going to put a zero there. It doesn't have sports, so it's going to be a zero there. Then it's going to do one, and then it's going to do one for drawing. So if how it stores this value then is going to be four plus eight, so that's going to be twelve. It's going to be stored as a twelve. Let's make this a little bigger. So now let's do reading and drawing. So in this case, it's got reading. That's true. Uh, sports is zero. Uh, swimming is zero. Uh, drawing would be one. So this would be stored as nine. All right. So now if we use the bitwise operators, how can we get whether something contains reading or drawing? So now if we do reading and uh, so first let's get a line that has uh, reading by itself. So reading would be 0, 0, 0, 1. And then we'll do a line that has drawing, which is stored as 1, 0, 0, 0. So, so now we've got reading, comma, drawing. And that would be stored as 1, 0, 0, 1. So if we do anything, if we do this reading and drawing, and one, what it's going to do is it's going to compare. So let's just look at these two rows here. Reading and drawing one. So let's, so one would be, sorry. So if we just did one, that's going to be zero, 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 one. So if we did this bitwise combination, you would return zero, uh, sorry, zero, zero, one. So you would get something returned. Uh, you get actually one returned. And if you had just drawing, let's say, which would be, say, drawing and one. Drawing is one, zero, zero, zero. So if you did that with one, you would just return all zeros. because drawing does not intersect with one. So given that, hopefully I haven't confused the hell out of you. So this is stored as one. This is stored as a value that would be equal to two, four, eight. So what we want to do here is bitwise. If we do the bitwise compared to one, and this will return true. And then if we do the bitwise equal to 8, this will return a value as well. So then if we run those tests, then that will be the correct answer. So if you're not familiar with bitwise operators and the set, uh, this one's a bit difficult. I have to say I challenged, it challenged me a little bit. So uh, don't feel bad if you didn't get it right away.
All right. Thank you very much. Bye.